Yeah, I mean, I always talk about how I, I think there should be more player outreach. You know, saying like, hey, you know, I've been through this before. This is what actually happens. You know, it might look like this, but this is how you'll actually feel. And, you know, I remember falling at the ATP tournament in Houston and it was so anticlimactic. You know, I fell, you know, I, I broke my wrist, my scaphoid, and, and then it was like kind of done. I'm home, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. You know, I, I have to pay for my own doctors. The insurance was okay. I was still under my mom's insurance, so it was okay at the time. And, and looking and like, I didn't really have the team around me. I was trying, but I was paying out of pocket, not really understanding. I was okay with money, but not really understanding that has to last me another year while paying expenses and nothing coming in. So it was, it was a journey. And to do that two times in my career um, for a few months at a time and not really understanding again how the protected works and how much time I should take off or needed to take off and who were going to help me out or not going to help me out and what that looked like. And then also losing my identity in the process and the mental toll that that took on me and led to behind the racket in one way, shape or form. So can't hate it, but yeah, I mean, it, it was exhausting.